Well, let's get this underway. Oh! The closed captioning seems to be working. Although I don't know what that looks like on stream, but... Alright, just loading in. And it seems to work a little bit better than uh, Chris Ken tries. <laughs> Until I try to say a username and then it dies. <laughs> All right, well, we have to go and install a loudspeaker. Um, it's apparently fishing day, so we want nothing to do with that. I don't enjoy fishing in any game. Ooh, mail. Ah. The mayor wants a present. Ah, actually I have to him something. Oops. Um, loudspeaker, uh, please. And build. And tree. It's a Friday, so... Picking up a commerce commission today will be interesting. Um, this is for sale. To sell, um, let's go pick up Commerce Commission. Throw this hat at Gale, I think. Okay, so it's not ideal, but it's better than nothing. Um, a boombox, two advanced skeevers. I don't have the plans for a boombox, but I can buy them, I'm pretty sure. I don't have a cassette box. Never mind. Two advanced skeevers. So we'll kick off those as first priority. Oh, look. There we go. Um, that should mean that they're both complete at the same amount at the same time. Um, There's a loudspeaker. Fishing is all the way over here. So we... Wrong button. You're oh, terrible. You're so far away. And there's no DD stop anywhere near that because that's on the wrong side of the river. <laughs> then we have to run all the way back to go to the harbour. Oh, let's just head north, hand gale his thing, complete the advanced skeevers which are being made. The loudspeaker I've got. Such a hike. Hey. Oh, I can't give the hat. Another uninspired gift. 
I'm sure the so I'm sorry, Gale. You wouldn't let me give you the hat that I wanted to give you. And the loudspeaker is going somewhere else. Where's the PD st Oh, there it is. <laughs> Take the DD all the way out to the harbor. Then Where's the boat that goes over? I think that's the boat? Travel to Starlight Island. Yes, please. Okay, so the commission... The commission... The closed captioning isn't great. It's not completely awful either, but it's not great. Okay, so... Hey, Sublime Zephyr. Welcome back. <laughs> okay, someone almost died. and ask Petra for... She's going to be so all the way up with the fishing. She's so far away. Also, happy pride, by the way, Sublime. Usernames are never the best. Oh, boss. Yep. Petra's all the way up there. I wish there was a better way. Such a hike. <coughs> if there happens to be a DD stop that we find while we're up there, like a, a spot for one, we'll build one and put it up there tomorrow. Now, that food, that's a buff, it's not actually permanent. If a buff isn't permanent, it's not worth my time. I don't see a DD. Stop. Arlo's burning himself big time for what happened. Alright. An automatic bird feeder. Wait for the diagram. The diagram will come tomorrow. Now. Gross. I can't go that way. I was hoping I could. <clears throat> that would have made life a little easier, but no such luck. Hmm. 
instead, we've got to run all the way back to the mine and grab the DD slot. I suppose certain words, because they're specific to this game, also don't tr um, translate well. <laughs> that being said, um, this is the first time I've ever used closed captioning, so we are keeping an eye on it. We're out of wood. Um, wood, 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 wood. Oh, how do we make wood? Normally I thought it was in here. We just, there was one. But like just wood, but it's gone. Oh, jeez, I'm sorry. <clears throat> yeah, closed captioning isn't great for most people. What? There it is. What? Oh, I didn't pick it up. And then we dump all of that back in. <clears throat> right. <clears throat> Mistakes were made there. Um, so the advanced skiva won't be done today, but it's a weekend commission, so there's no big deal waiting for that. We are waiting for the next story mission, though. And I don't remember how we start that. Because <clears throat> the missions that we're doing for Toadie aren't main. <clears throat> like, as much as they're yellow missions, they're not main story. So, with that, missions, yep. up to here. Now, <laughs> mission is part of the yada yada yada. Um, oh, okay, so we've still got some time because certain people have to arrive before we can get that quest underway. And those people have not yet arrived into Porsche. Skill point, I do not. I want to get that as a next one. Smooth talk, extra com extra point for um, just talking. <clears throat> um, need to head into town quickly <clears throat> to sell stuff. That's all good, Nintendo. Thank you for popping by.
Everyone's just getting back into town now <clears throat> from the fishing day. How much money do I have right now? 60,000. We're not in any hurry to do anything. We went to ask Mr. Musa for a couple of jobs, but he said he can't take us back to his... So, that's going to be interesting. <laughs> Um, that one's got an hour and 33, while well, that one makes an advanced skiver. We'll retrieve that because we don't need that anymore. <clears throat> it's kind of a shame that you can't just like automate it to <clears throat> say, hey, this is in the production queue of the factory. Do up stuff here as well based on that. It's got an hour to go. <laughs> Alright, we're just going to leave that be. We'll come back for that in the morning. We are trying to get to the Somber Marsh today. Oh. But of course it's like it's fishing day, so nothing happens apart from the event. So it slows down progress. Oh no, no, it doesn't. Because here they are. Okay, so we've got the automatic feeder. So what we're going to do quickly is kick off another build for that and go over here. And look for the automatic feeder. There it is. Come over here, grab this. And build all of those. Um, we have to go to the research center by the looks of things. Because there's something over there. Um, <clears throat> that's going to take some time. And there's, there's no rush today because it's a, like it's a weekend. The only project that we've got right now is going and doing the comparisons for the, the commerce guild but i the name escaped me for a second there i'm gonna go dump a bunch of stuff in here stuff that i don't need Pick up both of those. <clears throat> and them in <clears throat> for five grand. Hi. Do the comparisons. What's broken today? The lump there. Black mark there. seems to be missing a chunk. Oh, this will be easy. That's broken. Black mark on the handle. And that's a little too pointy. What are you trying to do? Kill somebody with an umbrella? Jeez. That's too long. Oh. And there's two no marks on the back. They're a little hard to spot. Oh. too far at the front and a couple of black marks. Oh, that was quick. Now we're going to 
go over here to the research center. Because I have a mark over there. Yellow, like, circle. You are making the same mistake as the people of the Age of Corruption did. Okay. You guys can't. This thing is too dangerous. It would be better for every... This isn't... What was that about? Um... Oh, okay. So, the minister doesn't like... Robots and stuff like that, but... That's the stuff of the old days. Um... So, because that's the stuff of the old days, we... Uh, the minister is very, let's just, shall we say, conservative and very happy with what was and not what is now. So, we can fix that, hopefully. Um, make an activation chip, eh? Great. Ow. What? Fake activation ship. Oh, I don't have the recipe. That being said, I also lack the AI components, so... We'll grab the other ones just in case as well. But I think I grabbed them the, <laughs> right the first time around. We're going to run down to the harbour, pick up two AI chipsets, which I can only buy from the harbour. Ooh, I'm running low on those. Come on, back on the horse. These silicon chipsets, I'm running low on. I've only got three left. Don't know how many I need for this current project. So, none. Okay, that, that makes life easy. I've only got one left. Right. Go to the research center. I hand that in, and if I have to fight it, I have to fight it. Hey, little mama. How are you? Welcome back. So that's problematic because now I've only got one silicon chip. If I need more, I'm going to need to go do runs of, I think, the um, sewage plant. But I'll need to double check that. I build an automatic feeder yet. Oh, because I don't have the aluminium plate. Which is... Four minutes away.
So once that's done in 37 minutes, we'll pick that up, run that over to Starlight Island, and install it. And yeah, we just need to figure out what the heck we're doing now. Because we don't have any main story quest. Still. Isn't that... A, like, opium pipe? Not sure if I remember correctly. I just remember it being something to do with um, everybody sits around in a big circle with a machine in the middle of them, all breathing out of tiny little tubes. Go to Starlight Island. Poor form. Close captioning. Poor form. The fact that I can't, like, sprint while I'm here is a little frustrating. What is um, that game about, anyway? I know it's more of a like Turkish kind of thing. Or at least from that kind of area. Turkey is just the country that comes to mind. <coughs> You're right back there? Alright. Well, that quest line is done. Okay. Animal Crossing is a bit slow for my liking. I like this game because there's quite a lot going on regardless, as much as it is also rather slow at times, like now, while I'm waiting for a quest to pick up. Oko life. Okay. <laughs> I got so confused. I'm like, that's, that sounds like drugs. Oko Life, I think I have heard of. I don't know much about it, but I've heard of it. It's going to pat me meow. meow. in this game is always so lovely. Um, okay, so we've got 31 fiber cloth. That's good. In that case, we might just go to bed. There's just nothing to do right now, so we're just going to accelerate time. Nelly Little, thank you for the follow. I do appreciate it. Welcome. Welcome. I hope you enjoy. Oh, hello. Oh, Wait, fuck. What happened? Director, there you are. 
trying to run away from your mistakes are... Okay. I'll try. Crazy. Both of... I'm gonna go and destroy a robot. Like I thought I was gonna have to. Oh! I got another gold trophy. Cool. Oh, hi. Wee. Oh, nice to see you. I'm wondering, you fought that knight. How was he now? What exactly is a knight? Didn't you have knights in Barnaroth? Anyway, if you're looking for a history lesson, it's best you talk with So, Ganko was a knight. I'm thinking of trying to find this knight and have a... You want to reason with him? That's right. I can't sleep well knowing a do-bad knight is in the neighborhood. Have you asked the civil court ever? Ever since the council's guard showed up, our civil corpse members have become errand lads for the captain. I know Remington and that rider fellow have been going around searching for that knight, but I think they're in the mood for talk. It's too bad about what Toadie did. All right. Well, Central Plaza's down here. Get a big sword, a big hammer out. That was easy. <laughs> Thank you so much for stopping that robot. I'm certainly going to have a chat with Merlin about. Not a calm morning. Hey, hey. Don't look at me like that. I might look dangerous. But I'm actually one of the nicest guys. Right. Where's my horse? For Christ's sake. You want to know about knights? What do you want to know? Who are the knights? They first appeared as eventually this some All right. But ever since the time. How to become a knight? The rules for knighthood are. Was Jango in? That's what he claims, but I. Ah. <sighs> oh. We have no mission. And there's Meow Meow back at the house. Frustratingly. <laughs> We've only got the comparisons to do today. Not really much on the table. An issue there. There's an issue. There's an issue there. And there's a chunk there. Oh, there's four today. Ah, that's too tall. Black mark. Bulbous bit. That's too far forward. And there's a black mark there. Black mark. Black mark. Oh, I got a third one there. Didn't even try. Hmm. A button. All right. Well, I thought there was an issue there. <laughs> there was not. There's a, a slight issue there. And there. There's four faults. Up. Oh. Fault. What's wrong with this thing? Got one more fault that I can't spot. thought it was this the, the wheel but no I 
can figure it out. All right. Right, the horse is back home. Just a little bit of Jesusing. Running on water. There's no project today, so wrap it up. see any <clears throat> any mission <clears throat> that being said i do have a cut oh i have quite a lot of items <clears throat> why can't i put that in there that's just rude all right well that's a permanent increase and that's a permanent increase so we'll take those and we'll dump everything else into the factory's storage. Hey kid, got a message from the mayor. He wants you to know that the Alliance Council has made a decision regarding all sorts in the night. He wants you in his office for a meeting today. Got it? Great. Okay. Now I have to. Ah, glad you could join us. Now that everyone's here, let's start the meeting. This here is Miss Ursula, a captain of the council guard. She and her team have been sent here by the council to reinforce us. I... Yes, yes. Let me just get to the point. After listening to the report from Molly, the council has decided that it's imperative that we find the all-source AI right away. It's essential to the survival of the three cities in the face of adversaries like Dubos. You want to use it against Dubos? That's not for me to say. My mission is to find it and take it back to Atero for study. You know, I'm never one to stand in the way of progress, and this is going to make me sound like Lee. But who made a decision like that? We don't know if- I have received a telegraph from a representative saying that the majority of the council voted for this. I can't believe it myself. She has quite the look, and I have, um, spoilers, so I'm going to ignore that. How come Molly didn't come? She's still being debriefed, especially about this rogue knight. What am I here for? We might run into situations where we need builders, so I thought a man of your reputation needed to know. Also, we'll establish a team to look for and eliminate this rogue knight. Arlo, why don't you lead that team? Take one of my men, Ryder. Start with the perimeter of the town. We don't- Sure. I'll start looking for the AI right away. I'll be in touch. Uh, good. That is all. Meeting adjourned. She came in and decided that she was going to take control. And I still don't have my freaking horse. <laughs> Right, manage map. Turn off monster icons. You. Those ladybugs actually have something, but I don't remember what. Sell that. We're going to quickly enter and see what we can do in here. Central power supply has 102 days of power left. That's before I even call on anything else that I've got. What's the automation controls? Ah, research. Right, of course. We'll ride the horse and go and sell some stuff. Bit of a different plane this time round. But I'm 
bit more combat focused than previously. Um, this game is single player, so it's called My Time at Porsche. Um, there were, there's a couple of really good games that I've enjoyed this My Time at Porsche. So My Time at Porsche and Subnautica. That may be interesting to play together, but My Time at Porsche really doesn't need other players. I'm already kind of bored enough. I don't have enough quests to actually move on with right now. I'm just gonna head to bed and kill half a day. Subnautica would be interesting with friends, but unfortunately that's not an option that is available to us. Jeez, that was blunt. All right. But yeah, they're just not designed with multiplayer in mind. Like, um, time is ticking. If that rogue knight builder, glad you're here. From the locator computer, we've uncovered that to reach the all source location, we'll need to fail identify these locations. But two of them are in the somber marsh north of Portia, and from what I've gathered. They're hard to get to. That's priority number one for you, Builder. Since you got here first, you get to pick which route you want. We're going to take the western route. route. It's more complicated. Here are the diagrams we need for this route. In the meantime, we have a team prepared to take a dive into the location south. Um. So we'll get cracking on that the moment we're done picking up a commission. So let's go and pick up a commission for the day. Something that the city wants. Three wooden pillars, two wicker baskets. A wooden pillar. All right, and two wicker baskets, was it? I'm just trying to work out which one's harder to make. Uh, we'll take the weaker of the two. We only need two wicker baskets, but... What is that? Three times... Uh, two times... Ah, screw it. Pigment. I'm just gonna buy like 15 pigment, any pigment, and just keep it in the system. I don't have those flowers. And this should bypass the need for the flowers. Or at least that's my hope. Oh, they're not going to actually take too long. That's not bad. All right. Let's have a look at this. It's going to be the big sets. Us. So we want a high lift power machine, which needs two military engines, which we've got. Eight steel shell. Got that. So we need eight steel shell and four bearings. Hey, Luca. Um, auto work table. Eight. 
steel shell and four bearings. How are you, Luca? Alright, that should be everything that we need for that. Composite steel beam. Oh god. Yeah, we got the factory the other day. Oh. Purple resin? Oh, fuck is that from? I'm glad that you're resting your eyes. How many composite steel beam? Do I need one? Do I need one steel beam. Which I think might be on here. There it is. Um. Seven. Six. Got to keep an eye on these because these are important, and we don't want to cap one. Because then we can't make more. Now, we've got quite a lot on the go right now. Um, so... In order to make this, we need six aluminium plate and four advanced composite board. I don't know how to make the board, but the aluminium plate we can make, at least. Oh, um, it's probably next year, unfortunately. I'm so excited for this game to come out. Um, the new version of this game to come out, the second one, but it's not coming out this year. Or wooden board, or resin. Little. All right, where the shit do I get that? Purple resin. Right. It comes from... Wait. Western? Bala Heights. The Western Plateau. Oh, okay, so yes, the Western Plateau. Need four purple resin. So we're going to go cut down some trees with the chainsaw. Nyum nyum. There's two purple resin at least. That was quick. Two more. Here's my full purple resin. Simple. But yeah, I'm so stoked for the next one of this. Like, my time at Sandrock? Bring it on. I am stoked. Unfortunately, yeah, we have to wait. I'm, when it comes to something like that, I'm not exactly patient. Whoop. No, you don't get my poop. Um, what did you want? You wanted two of these. It's not one of those? Oh, no, it's one of these. Need four of those. Two of those, five more aluminium plate, and six steel plate. Six. 
six steel plate and five aluminium plate. I'm running out of space on these machines. Oh! Ironwood support. Okay, that's not in here. There it is. And two of these. Another five ironwood plank. Um. Hang on. Handbook. No, I need ten ironwood plank. Handbook says we also need four steel frame. About a furnace space, I think. And four wooden pillars. Cotton. We're going to buy 20 of that, too. Um, I didn't say a name of a game to play together. There's a couple of games that I wish kind of had it. I can't buy 20. I can only buy 10. Um, just because, like, Subnautica, for example, would have been a, a pretty good game to have it initially. Um, but... It kind of does get rid of a point of the game. <laughs> you are the sole survivor. That's how that game works. Right. Well, we almost kept out the furnace. But we didn't. Everything else is on its way to con construction. Right, we need to drop these two wicker baskets off to the good doctor who is all the way up the top of the town Dr. Zhu's clinic clinic <laughs> I wrote a letter to my master in Seasai about some of my Hi. there's also this machine that allows you to change your appearance and like come on give me that in real life I made a joke about it last time on last stream, basically saying you we need that in real life because it would save us like fifty thousand dollars <throat> in terms of like facial reconstruction surgery. So that'd be nice. Alright. This will this is gonna take quite a lot of time to get all the way through it. Because it's got so many different things that it's got to make. Steel. Okay, so. We can't build the ironwood support because we don't have all of those parts. Build this. Not even close. This one. Nope. How about this one? Nope. <laughs> There's so many things that we just need that we need that just simply don't have. Um, we have so much lead. So so much lead. Um What else do we have a lot of? Where's the rest of my ore, actually, for that matter? There's lead. That's con That's hardened clay. That's crystal. That's not ore. Zeolite. Dirt. Sulfur. 
Oh, uh, there's tin. Copper. Marble. Iron ore. Okay, so we've got still 700 of that. Aluminium ore, 600. 700 and... So 800 manganese. Okay. I'm pretty happy with where things are right now. Oh, there's magnesium ore too. Only 120 of that though. Oh. Life is Strange is a whole other piece of work. I can't play my way through Life is Strange because of how painful Life is Strange 1 left me. So I played Life is Strange 1 before I transitioned. It was still a balling mess. I could not hold my tears in. It was very messy. Basically, don't nod. As a developer, really know how to pull on those heartstrings. I'm gonna go buy some more pumpkin. Oh, look. I don't think I ever finished the first one because of just how much it hurt. Because that game burned me hard. And then when I heard that they were doing um, another game... Ooh. Chicken earrings. <laughs> Going into the cell, cell pile along with the oil brush. Um, when they when they announced that they were doing Tell Me Why, which is actually free by the way right now, um, for Pride Month, I think it's free on Steam. I basically went, I can't play that. Well, no, I I thought I can play. I can play that one. That'd be fun because it's actually got a tra it, it has a trans story in it. And then I found out a little bit more about it and went. Maybe not. Like, Luca, when you were playing that the other week, when you told me what that story was, I turned around and went, I can't play that. Because to me, that would be akin to like self-harm. And I don't really want to do that. Because that's just how strong that game is in terms of what it can make you feel. So, with all regard, no thanks. I think I'm pretty good where I'm at right now. I'm gonna go to sleep while the machine works, while the factory does its thing. Already learned steel beam. No kidding. I had that from a long time ago. No mail, just the deliveries. All right. Oh, we're done with all of our processing. That's cool. We'll build a steel beam first, and retrieve the steel beam from there. Then we put the steel beam back in that machine, or we just hold it, and we build all of the rest of them. Unfortunately, it is a weekday, so we do have to run off and fetch a regular commission as well. Mirror? I've never heard of Twin Mirror. By the way, how's volume levels and stuff for like the stream and stuff? We 
take a bath. You should be able to just do that. Shouldn't take terribly long either. Good. That's great to hear because, yeah, for the longest time, it's all, it's very difficult to to work out when something is good in terms of audio, just because I can't hear it. So that's going to make two ironwood supports. Meanwhile, this is making a wicker basket. Then we just need to make an advanced control unit, one composite wooden, uh, one composite steel beam, and one high power lift machine. Once all of that is done, we're good to go. I mean, I really want to play My Time at Sandrock, the second version of this game, but it's not coming out um, in a hurry. It's going to take some time. Unfortunately. I really want to play this, but it's not out yet. It's not coming out until next year. Like, I think it's out for early access this year, but full release, I think, is next year. Hi, Haley. In with the hydrate and the stretch. Until dawn. Until down or until dawn? Oh, just trying to stretch my shoulders out a little bit. Um, an advanced control unit. We'll build one of those. Then a composite steel beam. <laughs> Autocorrect. Um, Until Dawn. The name rings a bell, but I don't think I've ever played it. No. Dang it. Laura, you wanted a wicker basket? You were hey. Hello. Got some great catches today. Boy. A Wendigo game. Probably not then. I probably haven't played it in that, if that's the case. Yes, no, I've, I've probably heard of it, but I probably haven't played it because it sounds very much like a horror game. And now we just need this. Yeah, I don't play horror games, unfortunately. It's not something that I enjoy. I don't enjoy being scared. So with all due respect, not my kind of game. Like, it's why I don't play stuff like um, Phasmophobia or Dead by Daylight. I don't enjoy those kinds of games. So I simply don't play them. This should be done shortly. 11 minutes. Cool. Then we've just got to build one more component, which is the high power lift machine, then go and install it all. And that is the last of our builds. So once that's done in 50 minutes, 
we can go up here and try to assemble it to get to the Somber Marsh. Marching on our way to the Somber Marsh. It, there are two ways to get across. There's one way here that's shorter, and there's this way. A little longer and a little harder. We chose the west approach, um, making it a little bit harder. The resources are more intensive. The rewards are a little bit better too. Because like, if we look at the reward, 10 grand plus adventurer's clothing. Adventurer's clothing would be nice. Although I don't think I can I can wear it. See, Melly, I've got certain games that I have like an emotional attachment to. And I was watching someone earlier today play one of them, which is Spyro. Because Spyro for me reminds me of my grandfather before he passed. Um, so there's, I have that kind of attachment to, yeah, certain people and like video games or a, there's a particular song that reminds me of one of my exes, although I can't remember it. Just mostly because I haven't bothered to listen to that in a long time. Oh, that artist. We're going to run up manually to avoid having any issues. And with that, the pathway is built. Nice bridge, though. Oh! We need more stuff. I wasn't aware of that. Why do we need more? Oh, there's a second bridge. I'm also going to build the DD stuff while I'm at it. Just because I think I need one. Build a DD stop. So we're going to kick off the DD stop first before we do with the rest of this. Uh, that's a DD transport. I don't want a DD transport. I want a DD stop. All right. Well, we can't build four of you because we've only got two cotton. Fifteen. Well, aren't you awful? And I need three more wooden uh fiber cloth, so we're gonna go and hunt. Hey Fern! We're gonna go quickly collect some uh worn fur. Hey look, the flop. Um, in that case... Oh, I thought I was going to get the reward already, but apparently not. Yeah, it's been an okay day. Work is very mind-numbing right at the moment, but we'll get there. There's just very little to do, because, and it makes it harder because I'm working from home. So these two I can't build. This one needs 15 purple resin. Yeah, it's it's a little easy, but it's pro probably too easy. I swear I'm going to break a shoulder one day. Um, I need more cotton. And I need... It's mind-numbing because there's not a lot of work to do, is the problem. 
Um, we don't have any tickets. We don't have anything like that. I can do it, but there's just none there. I wonder if this tree will have purple resin. I hope so. I need 15 of it. It did not. It had cinnamon though. Junior level stuff is like frustrating. I'm like, I can do better than that. But like work isn't giving me that level of responsibility at the moment. I'm trying to get promoted in the second half of this year though. There's always hope. And to be honest, getting promoted this year would be fantastic. And I need it. What with a big move coming up and everything else, it's just so much going on. They also removed one of the requirements that has always plagued me for years. So we might we're in with at this point in time, we're in with a very good shot. Oh, wow. Jeez. Like, my current boss has basically given me approval. Like, so my current manager, so I've got several levels of management above me that I have to deal with. Um, and those managers are... So I have to deal with a people manager that deals with me on a personal level. So when I transitioned, I dealt with my people manager. Oh, God damn it, Pinecone. Grab this tree and then we'll leave. Um, so the admin kind of stuff for the company, that's all people manager. Whereas... Like my day-to-day -day work, um, that would be a service delivery manager in this circumstance. So my service delivery manager has given me very good feedback recently, and my people manager has seen that. The company was, yes. The company was very supportive of my transition, um, which helped immensely. I just need to get more cotton for wooden pillars. And we'll do that tomorrow. But yes, no, the company was very supportive. Um, I get an extra 10 days of leave a year, um, which is actually becoming fairly standard across Australia. Um, quite a lot of companies, including one of the big supermarket chains, Woolworths, has just included a thing called gender affirmation treatment leave. Or gender affirmation leave. Which, oh god, what is? Um, gender affirmation leave basically means that on top of your annual leave, on top of your sick leave, you get 10 days of leave a year. With which you can do whatever you want with it. Um, well, you can't do whatever you want with it. It kind of needs to be for something related to your gender affirmation treatment. So, for example, surgery, um, needing to see an endocrinologist, um, voice therapy, voice training, anything like that. Um, I can take days for that. And in my circumstance, um, seeing the endocrinologist writes off a day. So, and that's, and these 10 days a uh, calendar year too so well I'm not making that because I need that anyway two leather belts okay um but the other thing that I don't get in Australia is I don't get like because of the way that Australia works we don't have coverage in terms of like our private health doesn't cover us for surgery so if we want coverage for that 
We kind of have to go and do it ourselves. Oh shit, that's delicate fur. We need to go and buy all of the cotton. And then we need to go and hunt up a de one delicate fur. <laughs> yeah, so that's basically the reason why that works is that in the US you have coverage with your private health, right? But in Australia, the private health doesn't cover cosmetic surgery. Um, so we don't get any coverage like that from private health. And private health really only covers my hospital stay. Basically, okay, so what I'm currently trying to do is I'm trying to spawn a, um, a cotton llama. Because the cotton llama will drop the delicate fur that I need. At least I'm pretty sure it will. Yeah, so in the US, your private health insurance it is the bigger market. There it is. Whereas in Australia, we have public health. So we don't need private health by, the, by a large. We are required to have it for surgery, anything trans related, because doctors won't operate on you. They will only do it in a private hospital, which is a bit frustrating. Um, but um, it is what it is. Um, all right, now what do I need? Four of these. All right. So yeah, we don't get that, that coverage that people in the US say might get. Where if you're in the US, say working for Starbucks, your insurance might cover you for surgery. In Australia, it doesn't cover you. And it, like, our public health system doesn't cover us either. Um, and the private health doesn't cover us. So, what private, but having private health is essential because if you don't have it, instead of it being, say, $20,000, you might be looking at $60,000. Um, and I don't know, I don't have that kind of money. Um, each plaza. Each plaza. So, yeah. It's, it's a messy situation in Australia. And I wish it wasn't so messy. But, like, I'm in a really lucky position where I can actually afford it. And I know most people can't. That's what I wanted. I wanted to go up. Like, because of the fact that, for example, Church of the Light exterior. There we go. Um, yeah, so because, like, unemployment for, say, someone who's trans, and visibly so, is significantly higher than normal, than the normal population, it can be quite difficult for a lot of people to afford surgery. And often it comes down to, hey, what do you want? Do you want surgery or to own your own home? And in some cases, actually in many cases, with unemployment rate being so high that's not even a one one or the other it's a case of um you might get it you might not be able to afford either and that's pretty standard where is minutes to leave Well, that's 
kind of frustrating, actually. Where the hell is the minister? I needed him. F. We will take these two. That. And those, we're just waiting on seven of the advanced compasses forward, and then we will be done with that. Where the flip is the minister? Yeah. Yeah, there you go, Fern. An example, an answer for how Australian healthcare works. That being said, I would rather be in Australia than in the US where that surgery is going to cost you a lot more. Great work, because health, just healthcare in general in the US is more expensive. To get tablets is going to cost you more than it's going to cost me. A month's worth of estrogen cost me 10 bucks. In the US that might be 100. Which is unreasonable. Yeah, US insulin is a problem. That is price gouging at its best. And so much worse if we're not even considering price gouging. Like, that's not even remotely fair. And yet, you're expected to just deal with that? Like hell. That's so cruel. Like, your medicine... Your medicine in the US, your hospital stays, everything is just so ridiculously expensive. And it's just not so here. We don't have to pay nearly what you do. That helps us a lot. <laughs> that's actually that's actually funny, iOS and the US the siblings. Basically, um in Australia we don't have so all of our Medicaid a lot a lot of our public medication system is, it's generally pretty okay. Because if you want medication, you can get it. And it's not gonna cost you an arm and a leg. There's a couple of medications that aren't on what we call the PBS, the Pharmaceutical Benefits Scheme. Two leather belts, three waterproof lamps on a dark coffee table. Three waterproof lamps. Like, the US has this whole thing where quite a lot of people in the US are in debt to healthcare providers. If I go into hospital, right? I'm going to make three of those separately so that they're not going to take an indeterminate amount of time. Um, if I go to hospital, I don't have to pay a cent. If I, go to, if I just rock up to emergency, the cost to me is nothing. If I go to my GP, it's a $80 fee in my case, but it's because I see a private GP. If I want to see him, it's generally within the week. If I want to go and see a doctor that's bulk billing, which means I don't have to pay, that might be a little longer, but they do at least exist. If I wanted to, I can deal with the waiting three hours to go see a doc- just walking into a clinic and waiting three hours to see a doctor. That's an option that we do have. Not an option that I particularly enjoy though. Yeah. There's no ED stop over here yet. 
But yeah, if I don't want to pay for my healthcare, I am not required to. In most cases. Specialists and stuff like that, like if I want to see an endocrinologist, I've got to pay to see him. Unfortunately. Um, I've got to see a gynecologist, which is a doctor I never thought I would have to see. But here we are. Um, I've got to pay him quite a lot of money. Because we have a shortage of one of our major medications, our estrogen tablets. Um, they are on long-term shortage until May next year. Which is on, which is a bit unreasonable in my book. So, we're gonna try and get on an implant in the meantime. That'd be a good idea. It might take some time, but it's probably a good idea. I heard about the knight from Tony's worried that people will run him out of town for what he did. Thanks to you, my whole Hello. And here we go. Have this. <sighs> There's none in the country, is the problem. The tablets are on manufacturer shortage. I'm really excited that we're looking for. So basically this the the producer of it all the routes have been completed. Have no there's none of them in the country. So if I want to get some, I have to find an alternative. So we in in Australia we use a medication in particular called Proganova, which is estradiol valorate. And that particular medication is on long term shortage. There is another medication that is not called um, estradiol hemihydrate, or also known as Luminom, which is actually really popular in. Ah, thank you so much for helping me with the routes. I was planning to build them for the city soon anyway, so. Oh, I know. I tried to get more information about her through Atara since I haven't heard of her before, but the only reply I got was. Um, so yeah, basically it was, yeah, we just don't, we can't get that one medication. So I went in to go see the pharmacist and the pharmacist was like, don't have that. And I'm just like, okay, how do I obtain that? Ah, uh, you don't. But we can give you this alternative, but you need to call your doctor and ask the doctor for the alternative. We can't just give it to you ourselves. And I'm like, <laughs> okay. Please give. Um, and then they gave me the name of it and I had to call up my doctor and ask for it. Which was a little disappointing. Because my doctor likes to charge me for stuff like that. He didn't in this circumstance, which was pretty good. But he does tend to. Right, let's go do this key. Oh, builder, you're Are you ready to head inside? I'll grab a hammer out and then go smack some stuff. Now, you'll notice that we're fighting stuff that's level 46. We're level 38. We are under leveled for this. All right, well, there's a couple of ways to go here. See this? We blasted through. Go the other way first. I can't remember ways to go. Um, in this circumstance, it wasn't... Like, they had to send me back to the doctor, so... Um, our Reddit pages, so, such as TransgenderAU, picked up because everyone 
was asking about the shortage because it doesn't affect just one person it affects pretty much everybody because another problem that we also had simultaneously was that oh shit um at the end of last year the patches were on shortage as well Speaking of uh, estrogen, it was medication time. So take some tablets. Yeah, so the, the patches are supposed to be coming back from shortage about now, but the tablets are in shortage now. Because everyone that was on patches jumped to tablets. But there are gels and there are implants. The problem with implants is that most people won't prescribe them and won't install them. Install. <laughs> it's as if I'm half robotic. Oh. Gratis print. Huh? <laughs> um, so, yeah, we have to deal with trying to get that and even make, getting them made is difficult. Because to get them made, you have to go through a particular pharmacist called a compounding chemist. And they almost go there's very, very few of them countrywide. I think there's like two or three. And they can require like six weeks lead time. Like I know one of them now has a three week extra lead because they changed their process. Um. There was one that also had someone come in and complain because apparently the implants are not approved, which, like hell, they aren't. Huh? They work. I am gonna die. Um, so yeah, medication's hard in Australia. Aha, we're here. So, this gate won't open at all. We used all the blast packs we could carry and still nada. There's a door leading to the power room. These guys are morons. And here comes the death. At the hands of the sentinel. Maybe Sentinel 2. Yeah, Sentinel 2 got me. I knew one of them was going to kill me. Like, he did crit me for like over a thousand damage. But I've only got 1200 health. Or did I crit him? Hard to tell. I'm supposed to be able to stun them with this hammer too. But unfortunately, I can't. But the hammer does an extra 80 damage. So we use it. Those machines seem to be generators, and it's. What about this gadget here? Maybe. I think it's a transformer. I'm going to take it and have Petra. So we have to go and get our resident scientist to review this. Oh, hang on. In that case, we can just take a DD all the way to the front door. Yep. Put the sword on the back because the sword looks a little nicer than a giant freaking now hammer. The gift for me. I found this at one of the locations. It's preventing. You sure? It looks so small for a generator transformer. All right. So we have to wait until tomorrow to continue that quest. Um, but we did get a few good resources out of that, so that's pretty good. 
couple of very interesting resources. Um, oh, I'm in the wrong screen. Alright, so we've got the bridge all the way over built, and then this one built. This one goes nowhere. <laughs> Great. Um. Well, we can't do anything until tomorrow, I think, for that. Did I pick up a commission? I must have, because there's only two on the board. There's only two people to take them. All of that, those notifications are kind of kind of useless, so we'll pat Meow Meow. And for those wondering, yes, Meow Meow is named Meow Meow because Meow Meow goes the cow. But Meow Meow's a horse. But Dishonor on your cow was referring to a horse. Thank you, Mushu. And ASDF. For those that are younger, you may not understand what that means. That is okay. They are very old. Uh, well, one's a webcomic, and the other one is um, an old YouTube video, actually. YouTube series, even. Um, Bedtime. ASDF isn't terribly old, but like, you've got to remember that there are people out there that are not as old as YouTube. Like, when did YouTube... When did YouTube... Oh, YouTube Wikipedia. Launch. 2001, I think. 2005. So, there are six... There are people that are not that are old enough that they do not understand the beginnings of YouTube. And ASDF was very early on. Taken all nighter to get this to you since some bossy lady was breezing down my back. You were the director yeah. and I tried to see if we can fix it, but the design. So I had to come up with a design from scratch. Anyway, here's the diagram for the industrial transformer. Might not be as small or as elegant as the original. There we go. People that don't understand. Also, um, Mulan came out in the 90s. So, just quietly. Uh, it would be a small one, I would believe. Oh god, it's not. It's big. I've already got that. I've already got that. I just need the plate. So we'll we will make the plate in two sets of three, and then we'll make an industrial transformer. It's Friday. I don't care about this. That's Miss Rural Girl. Although we're not really competing with Higgins for this one. There's an event. Maybe not. Two hours. Two printing presses. Two balloon platforms. Three wooden pillars. We'll do two balloon platforms. We've got all weekend to do it because it's a Friday project. We've got three days. But it also pays us nine grand. So, uh, thank you for that. Um, and book. Balloon platform. So, fuck. <laughs> 16 bronze pipe. Get started on that in two sets of eight.
then what? Two displays? Um, which might be in here. Fuck. Well, we're out of mucus, so... Mucus! That's what's dropped off these bugs. No? Bug egg. Mucus! I know that there's another spawn down here somewhere. Oh, they also drop fiber cloth directly. That's cool. This saves us a hell of a lot of hassle because normally what we were doing was going to get this mucus from a different place. And that place did not drop mucus. It would drop like two a floor. And this is dropping me two every like three swings. But that's pretty good. Don't care. Um, two displays. Plus... I don't remember the other part. Oh. Or steel frame. Now, those are going to take some time to build. In the meantime, I'm pretty sure our industrial transformer should be not even close to ready. Yep, because they've got another every three hours left on each of these. Alright. Oh god, the CD stock goes in the worst spot. I mean, it's better, but not ideal. It's basically at the full length of the horse's run from base. It would be better if it was the other side of the freaking water, but not. I do actually really love the music for this game. It's just so peaceful. Not a lot we can do right now. So we will at Meow Meow. And then hope that Meow Meow's happiness is quite high. We will find out when we go and um, inspect the stable. It should be. It should be a hundred. It is. Loyalty is a hundred. Hunger level is full, so very satisfied. And all, of, all in all, a fully trained horse. I thought that would have been done by now. Five minutes. Oh, hello. Didn't know I could get up here. I can't get up any higher, but... So, two hours left on that. Those are going to take overnight.
Oops, that's two hours are up. We can get that that transformer built. Go from there. Unfortunately, we're just kind of waffling about wasting time until those are done. There's much else I can do. I've already kicked off everything else that I need with the balloon platforms, but we'll be ready tomorrow. And tomorrow we go and smack stuff with the big hammer. Plus also today. Actually, we might make some more um, fertilizer which goes in here. Ah, oh, we need more mucus. Because we've only got one mucus left. So we'll go and kill Mrs. Ladybug here. They're all Mr. Ladybugs, except for the boss, which is a Mrs. Ladybug. Because all of these mobs have an elite unit of them. So the Cotton Llama, for example, for um, the colourful llamas, um, the Cotton Llama, Mr. Oh. Mr. Ladybug has a Mrs. Ladybug. And so on and so forth. Pinecock has something else too, but I can't remember the name of that one. Pinecock being a very big bird. Oh, look! Mrs. Ladybug has come out to play. In all three spawns, too. Oh well, that'll do us. Got 12 mucus. That's going to be done very shortly. Um, what do we want here? Balloon stuff, balloon platforms. But once this is done, we need to actually check that our bronze pipe are doing. Ugh. gonna take forever. I can probably make one balloon platform once this is done. But that's about it because once that's done we should have enough of the bronze pipe to make one but not the other. Which we probably won't get to done today. It will have to be tomorrow. Yes. Go and assemble and place it. Oh, hello. I don't get mail late in the day. Oh. I didn't get anything from the event, so mail has my back. Because I didn't rock up to it. That's funny. Thank you, Yale. You're a very good mayor. Go into the bee farm. Go down here. Oh, oh it's just you. I've been got that transform. Yeah, let's do it. I don't want to. I don't want to help you, but we'll do it. I think it worked. <laughs> I don't like these guys. They just. Ah, sod off. All right.
Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is gonna hurt! <laughs> Knew that was gonna hurt. Three of them at once? I can't even handle one. <laughs> at least the patrol cl craft gets stunned. Nothing else does. They bullied me a little. But that's the understatement of a century. Bullied me a lot. <laughs> I'm a, I'm a weakling. Like, I'm level 38. Where's my 40? He's a 47. Supposed to be 50. Not too long away. Ten, get your button to gear and actually help. I like crap. Everybody else helps me fight. Why can't you? Ooh, there's a health kit. That's a boss room. Boys boss room. Yes, do this. The greatest part about this game, even if this is a boss room and I have to fight something, if I die, I just come back. Final boss drop then. No. Intruder alert. Visual identification. Hail. Hello, boss. Ooh. You can see just how little damage I'm doing to it, too. That one hit took me down half my health. I'm done. Yep. And I took it down half health. Yeah. I'm back, bitches. You miss me? It's either I'm back, bitches, or honey, I'm home. I don't know which to call it yet. I'm done. I'm dead. I survived. Just. But I survived. I survived with 46 health. 49. That is what we call... Cutting it close. Like, my screen is flashing red because I was so close to death. Still too close. So, I'm just going to use one of those. Those are the first aid kits. I should use them more, but I don't. Well, we're going for sale too. We can all jump in the, the factory once we're done with Ursula. Oh god, she's down there. One whack away. Um, I'm pretty sure the smallest enemy, the colourful llama, could kill me in one hit. I heard from Ten. Good work. I'll have someone come get you when the time comes. They're really paying me well. Like, that's 5,000 per key. I, I mean, I did have to make a pretty... Uh, it wasn't even that intense, to be honest. The, pro the project to build the industrial transformer wasn't that bad. Oh, so I want to grab all of that out. We'll sell soft stuff tomorrow when we get the um the last of the balloon platforms. Go and hand that in, and then hopefully we can do the second key.
There is a very interesting twist coming Good too. Day. Ready for an The team's ready to explore. Yep. The captain has set up two teams. She's really in a hurry to get this done. We're setting up at the entrance to that key. Yeah, we'll we'll do that in a minute. My friend, we've got a couple of bits and pieces to do first. Including going to sell a bunch of stuff. Throw a bunch of stuff in here. Fertilize my trees. Make a balloon platform. Gonna take an hour. I did actually have a very funny story today that I wasn't actually expecting. So, I was eating some donuts today, and the donuts, their, their icing was, um, let's just put it this way, a little bit moist, a little bit runny, and um, I'm wearing this t-shirt. Now this t-shirt can sit quite a, a little bit lower. It was a runny donut. Where do you think the icing went? Down the front of the shirt. Hilariously, I didn't even notice until it had dried. It was a very big, ah shit, moment. Like I, I pat myself like here and I'm like, why is it crummy? What the hell did I do? Oh shit. Oh shit. Hey. Ooh, chainsaw. There's a hole there. That's bulbous. That's too wide. Mark there. It was not. It was, um, it was brown and I didn't exactly leave the house, so it does help a lot. But, well, I mean, I left the house, but it wasn't until afterwards. Fuck, Mark, there. Oh, okay, there was only two on that one. But there was more. Fuck this. This one's complicated. Don't like it. Fuck, Mark, there. There's four, two. Shit. Mark, there. Ah, there's a chunk missing there. One more. Yeah, it was a chocolate donut. So brown ice. <laughs> oh no! Didn't even think of that. Ah, oh, there it is. Black mark over there. I don't like complicated builds. Mark there. That looks like an issue. It is. Yeah, it was um not my proudest moment, I can tell you that much. That being said, it was the first for me. Oh, there's a mark. There's a bent floor. Where's this last one? Okay, and hoping. But yes, it's the first time my cleavage has ever, has ever caught anything. So, oh, thing. Another one of the claws. It was, it's just, yeah, it's a very, it's an oddly affirming experience. Let's put it that way.
All right, so we've just got to enter the ruin. Which is over there. So we're going to go to the sewage plant ruins. Yeah, we'll just go over there. It came off easily enough. Like, and it's not like I was on camera. Because if I was on, like, camera with that, you would have noticed. But I look at myself in the camera every once in a while. Just regularly throughout the day, because I'm very happy with how I look now. Shit. Across the... Fuck you, Higgins. Across the... I... Yeah. <laughs> Shame you with that would not be great. Are you ready to go? All right, let's All right. do this. Gather up, everyone. There are two separate routes into this ruin. We're not sure which one leads to the key. I will take the left route, along with Arlo, and the rest of you take the other route. Along with Arlo, and I don't know. Yes, but. Hey, hey, bugger off to. Right, we go left. I don't want to fight you. At least Arlo will be my friend. Shit. Um... I think we have to go this way, because that looks like the correct way. I'm going to die like 17 times in here, I think. It's going to be great. This is what I get for being massively underleveled. Fun. One. Um, so I'm earning experience. I'm just under leveled. So every time I hit something, I get experience. If I go mining, I get experience. Um, I'm pretty much. I'm pretty sure I'm doing like a min run playthrough, which is problematic because I'm under leveled for everything. But there's no difficulty settings either, and I've got assistance. The other problem too is that the hammer isn't doing its job. So some of these mobs don't... The ha what? Okay, so the hammer is supposed to stun, right? But it doesn't always, and on certain mobs it doesn't at all. What'd you get? Ooh, red hawk. Red hawk is a gun. But guns are pretty shit in this game, and if I fire the gun, I piss off the church. <laughs> I already know that. Some mobs are stun resistant, yes. The hammer is supposed to be a stun. Yes. So because the, the guns are considered like advanced technology from the old world, um, you shoot the gun and the church immediately gets unhappy with you. Builder, you're up. It's very awesome. funny. So I built the Red Hawk in my last run and fired once in a place like this. And the church isn't even here, but the church was immediately pissed off and I'm like, what the fuck? Oh, right. You don't like um, technology and the gun is considered technology. Eh, make life hard. That being said, the best weapon in this game is a staff or a sword, depending on which one you get. But you've got to be level 50 for the sword. And I don't think I'm going to be able to get the staff because it's so deep into a particular dungeon that I don't think I've ever gotten down that far. Die! 
Why? Jeez. Captain, I must say you have a very peculiar fighting style. Lucian. You're from Lucian. I always wanted. What did I say about idle talk? Mission first. Arlo is um probing here. I like Arlo. Arlo's got a head on his shoulders. And he's a good fighter. Arlo thinks something's wrong. And that's why he's probing for information. Going, hey, does this make sense to you? And he might actually be throwing in stupid questions. I have a friend in the Council Guards named Sansa. You know him. Um... But Stanza doesn't exist. And in this case, I actually don't know what, what, what's true and what's not. Of course I died. What's that, two? Or is that three? at least twice on this run i will die probably a number of more times yet jeez that sent me back a ways oh they all got refreshed health rude i feel robbed Fucking shield sentry die the last set of mobs before checkpoint. Rude. So rude. Oh. That's ominous. That's the key. Intruders detected. Voice identification acquired. Hello. Voice identification failed. Intruder is. alert. Intruder alert. Boss fight. Really? Creepy. Watch as I die again. Oh, maybe not. We'll see. Oh shit. Maybe we will. Cause uh, that that hurt. That hit hurt. I died. That's three. But my friends are pretty good at fighting too. Oh no, Arlo! Arlo died. Sometimes I can't believe the nasty machines the ancients came out with. What kind of society would have tolerated something like this? Arlo! Captain! Are you a rat? Think. Chill, grumpy pal. It ain't a comp. Maybe. It's okay. We have this. And that's number two. One. Two keys down. One more to go. Good work, everyone. Before we head for the third key, I'm going to have a talk with the mayor about our plan. Once the old. Woo! Um. Oh, we don't have anything there. I don't really have much more to do here. 99 days of power. That's so much power. <laughs> Gotta to remember too that a, a year is not... Um... How long is a year in this game? that long four months we'll go and sell some stuff I think it's like four months of 28 days yeah that being said there is a very clever idea that someone has come up with 
where there is a new calendar type that I really like the idea of, but getting systems to change at this point would be impossible. Because we have so much that we just like to do. So hang on. It's not the Julian calendar. It's not that. It's not that. Some funky calendar. It's not. Uh, it's not a Looney Solar either. It's a set length. So unfortunately, underneath me, you see this this column here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Date formats would be fucking impossible to deal with across IT. I work in IT. I'm a programmer. I get you. What? A funky calendar. 13 month calendar. Okay, it's called the International Fixed Calendar, right? The idea is that every year is made up of 13 28 day months. So if we get a calculator out, 13 times 28, 364. So because it's an equal number of days in the week, 28 days works extremely well because the idea behind a, a calendar with 13 months of 28 days is if you have an appointment on the 15th every month it will always be the third sunday and the way that it works is leap years get an extra day in june and year day which is the very first day of the year, which is a public holiday, like New Year's Day, right? So the idea being that dates would shift a lot. So I love the idea behind this calendar just because 13 months of equal length, all being four weeks, meaning if you had an appointment on, yeah, on any given date, you're going to be fine because the, that date will be the same day of the week every month. So I think this works a little bit better, mathematically anyway. The only reason why we... Oh, and the 13th month is called Sol. Named after the sun. Um, which is in the middle of June, July. The only reason why we have 12 months right now instead of 10 months is because of Caesar. Because we should be at about 36 months. Uh, 36 day months, but we don't. So, there you go. <laughs> yeah, August and July. It shouldn't be there. And that's what throws out, like, October not being eight, but being ten. But oct means eight. December. Dec, or dis, or the, the, the first part of December means ten. But we do not have December being the 10th month and October being the 8th because damn you, Julius Caesar. Um, so yeah, the idea behind this calendar is interesting. and I would love to see it like actually take off, but it can't in terms of tech. There are too many systems right now that are coded with the Gregorian calendar in place. If you try and change that now, 
could take years. And in some cases, be actually impossible. Because, oh, more than 100,000. Um, because we've got systems that are in place now that we cannot recode. Because legacy systems are a bitch. <laughs> Yes, mathematically, Fern, it at least makes sense. And I thought you might appreciate that one. Oh, you're finally up. I was about to knock very loudly. We already scouted the third key location. You see, there are some excessive combustionable gas still circulating in that ruin. I've already had the research done to... What type of machine? An exhaust fan. Huh. Here's a diagram. Perfect. Please. Jeez, these guys suck. All right, Gail wants me to have a chat with him. All right, well, we can't do that. Do I have some weird, like, crap in here that I shouldn't? I do, but fuck it. What time is it? It's before seven. It's after seven, so we should be okay, but that's the exhaust fan. So we'll build that. But yeah, like mainframes and stuff. Right? Like who knows how to code mainframes? Almost nobody these days. So we just can't do that. He's not in there. He's coming down the ramp, I think. Or is it home? Oh no, there he is. Glad you could make some time. I've been trying to get in contact with Molly for a while now, but so far, the government rep on the other side keeps on saying she's busy. Molly isn't someone who wouldn't even spare a moment to send a telegram. This makes the old politician in me suspicious. What, what's the, what's the You've thing? The Don't guard. be suspicious. Do Don't be that? suspicious. It's an entirely new team that I've never seen before. I have no proof, mind you. All the things check out, including the director from the Tara, seal and all. But the captain told me that her team will be taking the ancient machine with them the moment we find it. And I, that and she, nervous. yeah. We said, we said, we'll take, we'll send our guys with you too. And they're like, no, no, no. I just can't imagine the council making a decision about this ancient machine without deliberation from the, I've already told the civil corps to be. Yeah. There's some suspicious behaviors here. Because software development is just building bigger and better projects. Nobody knows the absolute basics of coding like assembly. Oh God. Nobody knows assembly. Absolutely nobody knows assembly these days. There's another fault on this one, but where? Curve is on both. Swing and a hit. Oh, I never learnt. Like, I don't understand C++ because, like, I don't understand pointers. But that's my biggest thing, was I just never understood them. It didn't help that we had a lecturer from, like, Azerbaijan. And, like, it was somewhat difficult to understand his speech so that's not gonna help he knew his stuff don't get me wrong he just wasn't able to teach us very well but yes some people will learn it but it's almost not worth it anymore but yes there are too many there are because of computers, we basically can't change 
incredible systems. For example, the metric system. The US almost doesn't use it. There's a... Damn you, horse. There's a few exceptions to that rule where the system, where the US does use it, including in trade uh, and NASA, because it's more precise. Um, it doesn't make any sense, for example, that it's not a thing. It's a really interesting video done by an Australian comedian that I don't necessarily like, but he has a good point. Like, how do you figure out how far an inch is? And a yard and a mile, and it's just like, there's no rhyme or reason to any of that math. It doesn't make sense, it's just something made up. Whereas metric, everything's divisible by 10. The Imperial system has caused a rather glaring problem. Oh shit. I don't even have the fucking fan. <laughs> um, the Imperial system caused an explosion of a rocket because most people were using metric, but a couple of people were not. And things went boom. Because they weren't ready. Yeah, only three countries in the world use the metric system, uh, the imperial system. And the US happens to be one of them because they want to be special. But the imperial system doesn't make sense to most of the world. Therefore, most of the world just goes. No oh, thanks. <laughs> yeah, look, I agree. I have many opinions on the US. Many of them are not good. Oh, we're lucky that we have the military engine. The US has glaring problems with a number of its a number of things, including its politics. Because like politics was never meant to be this partisan where you've got two parties and the two parties can't decide on anything because if one party decides the other, the other party must disagree. The two-party system where most, where both parties are on the right, Australia has that too, to a degree. Australia is breaking that down with a left-leaning third party, but it's not. Um, it's not... It's taking its time. Hey, Zara and I. How are you? So... Yeah, we're getting there. In Australia, at least. But it is still a, a bit of a push. A lot of people dislike the green. Um, in Australia, just because they're too lefty um, or too greeny and that's apparently a thing which is funny as hell because there's no there's no alternative and the liberal party oh we can get up here the liberal party are batshit insane uh, i'm doing really good sir aren't i how are you oh i just asked ah. <laughs> we were discussing um Systems like the imperial system and then going into politics and like stuff that's wrong with the US and Australia. 
for example, um, the US doesn't operate as a country, right? It operates like the EU. Where every state makes its own laws and then there's a federal organization that basically mandates, you have to do this. It's wrong. Like, Australia does it to a degree, but it's not necessarily the same extent, right? We're not, like, discrimination laws are federal, by a large. I mean, there are people that will vote for our conservative party, which, by the way, is hilariously called the Liberal Party. <laughs> um... Yeah, we have a party here called the Liberal Party, which is extreme right wing. Yeah, well, Australian politics is a bit backward. Um, the other party is called the Labour Party. They're a bit closer to centre. Um, but they're... And then there's the Greens, which are very far to the left. Now, on a political compass, the, the Labour and the Greens generally come out pretty close together. In the top left. The, the liberals come out bottom right. And it's just like... I love conservative governments around the world because they always make this argument that we're for small government while making big government decisions. For example, we're for small government, transgender military ban. Okay. Like, the problem with the transgender military ban was that that blindsided the generals. And the generals of the US military in the Pentagon turned around and went, wait, what? Socialism is when the government does things, right? The right wing. Yeah, and then the right, and then the government does things like making it impossible to pee. Or making it impossible to play sport. Making it illegal with, with misdemeanor offenses and jail time for doctors giving um, important treatment. What the fuck? Hey Zorg. And happy Pride Month. It's, it might be a day late, but I don't care. Because it's uh, as close as it's going to get. Because today's the first day I've been streaming. Uh, we'll play tomorrow out. And then we'll wrap up the stream. So we'll do one more day. There is actually a small video. I don't know if people have noticed it. But there is a small fireworks display that comes up every once in like, once a minute or so in the top right corner of the stream. It's a happy pride every day. Yeah. <laughs> Don't care about any of this. Oh. Oh, Zara and I. Um, are you in my Discord? Because in my Discord, I've got a whole bunch of like my my heart emojis as pride. Um, like little pride versions, including a gay pride, a lesbian pride, trans, non-binary. No Higgins. And bye. And I thought, well, I've got five of them. We'll put them in as the emotes once we hit 50 subs and we get the all five slots. That's the plan anyway. We are a long way off. We're at 18 right now. I need another... 32 
which is so expensive to do. Like, currently the transgender pride one is my 25. Um my like tier three sub but like i don't have yeah i don't have that kind of money to drop like 300 bucks i just bought a new router for the new place i'm already look i'm already well on my way i'm already don't like donating one sub a week at least on sundays and the last couple of weeks oh fell off Frogs, run! Um, on Sundays, but I, I think the last couple of weeks it's been. I think in one week I donated six different subscribers because it was sub Sunday when we got the trans tag announced, HRT anniversary, which was the Wednesday, and then um the first trans tag stream. Don't go light the match now. <laughs> oh, now I have to go talk to her. Yeah, so because my HRT anniversary happened just before I took that trip to Sydney, like the day before. Uh, no, it was the day I left. I'm kind of Zorg. I'm on R2 because I've got a lot of travel that frustratingly wants to continue until September. I might have to resign again. We'll see. Where? Okay. Where in Snot's name is this bitch? Oh. Yes. So. I mean, we're on lockdown right now, too, so I don't know. Lockdown for another week. Or, although that doesn't really affect me because I'm not Melbourne based. You have it installed. Oh, we have to wait a couple of days. God damn it. Yes. Okay, so a subathon would be a great idea. The only problem I have with something like a subathon is like it means asking people to spend money and that makes me like a little weird. Like I would love to, but it's, I don't know how to like make do that and like advertise that properly. I feel uncomfortable asking people for a lift because like I don't drive I'm half blind I I cannot see distance properly so I don't drive like legally I can but I just don't want to I think my has finally... Hi. um but like it, it I always hate putting people out And for me, like getting to church was a problem because the buses here don't run very effectively on a Sunday, which is a bit disappointing. Particularly, well, even if the buses did run, I couldn't get to church anyway because it was the wrong side of town and there's no buses anywhere near it. What happens when you put churches in industrial complexes? We'll go outside. If, we, if there's mission today, we'll continue. If there's not, then we won't. There's mail, but I think that's just... Eh, that's not. That's not going to do it. Alright. We are going to wrap it up there. 
Now, that being said... Um, holy crap, there are so many messages I have to read in Discord. We'll do a Pride Month emote subathon. And then, like, as we get, like, earn our way to, to further goals, um, we will... It has to be after the 15th. Calendar. No, it has to be after the 11th. I think I get paid on the 11th. Monthly pay becomes a problem because it always has to be in before the 14th and it can't go in on a weekend. So we're going to get paid on the 11th. Early payday this month. Burn. Redeeming the VIP for a month. So the way that VIP will work in a such a way that you will hold it until someone else comes and gets it. Now, Community Roles Manager. Add me. Check this site dude as a VIP. Um, so yeah. Basically, you will hold it until someone comes and redeems it over the top of you. At this point in time, um, we have 10 slots for VIPs. Um, but um, I think I've got three of them right now. So just so you're aware. Yeah, so basically, if you redeem it again, then you'll knock off the last per the, the first person that got it. Um, there is a way to get that up though with achievements. So I'm just trying to work out which. Ah, oh, here we go. Talk a little. Get ten people chatting at a time. Eight out of ten. But that gives our uh, additional VIP badges. So if we can get that, then we can get extra badges as well. 15 people, 20 people, 25 people. These came in, these achievements came in after I had a really busy chat. Unfortunately, when I started streaming about five years ago, I had a pretty busy chat. Um, but that kind of died off when I stopped playing that game, so... 200 people. That's never going to happen. But this one's getting close. A thousand hours streamed. So just quickly, we're going to throw a raid out. Um, I just need to figure out something. Which? Go to my channel. Hmm. I want to hit the transgender tag and see if we can raid off that. Oh, wrong button. Now, I have it set to view as lower to uh, high to low. And then we just scroll. Because there's no way I want to raid someone with 500 viewers. That's not a thing I do. We generally try to raid people with like two or three. Ooh. Monster to save Altera some money. Manuel, not. What game is this? Don't care. Uh, the only problem is that. Or whatever you want to call it. Oh, they are actually speaking, so we will raid them. Come on. Give me the name. Alright. So we're going to go 
comrade Brecken Brecknell, who is playing Subnautica, what I believe would be Subnautica Below Zero. Um, so the new Subnautica game. But thank you for joining me. There will be some stuff about uh, Subathon in Discord in the next probably week or so. So keep an eye out for that. Um, it will be a Sunday night stream for sure. Or we might do an extra one on a Saturday even. Ooh. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll absolutely pop that all on Discord and on Twitter. Um, so follow one of those and I will... And if you're in Discord, make sure you pick a role. In particular, the announcements role. I don't tag at everyone to avoid that affecting people's... Like, uh, pissing too many people off. So, you have a role for that. So, announcements coming in there. We'll see you all on Sunday night with um, some more My Time at Porsche. We are about to run out of My Time at Porsche, though. We are getting very close to the end. So, I will catch you all on Sunday. Have a fantastic week and let's go show some love to Brecknell. Bye guys.